Hey guys, John here with CRMT, and today we're going to take a look at lead assignment rules. Uh, so, I've had a lot of questions over the past few weeks about lead assignment rules, and I've implemented a bunch for people. Uh, and the main purpose of a lead assignment rule is to avoid dropping leads that come into your uh, instance of Salesforce. So, uh, this happens if somebody, um, if you have like a form on your website, or you have um, like an automation, or even if you're importing leads into your system and you uh, have a hot lead that maybe a salesperson isn't notified about or they don't know that they should be covering that or you just have so much going on in your database that it just gets lost in the shuffle. Uh, so one thing the Salesforce can do to avoid this is a lead assignment rule. Uh, so if we take a look here, um, never drop a hot lead. Uh, that's the main purpose. It's just to make sure that those leads don't go untouched and then eventually lost or just um, forgotten about and nobody ends up buying anything from you. Uh, so lead assignment rule, kind of just went over that. Specify how leads are assigned to users or queues as they are created manually, captured from the web, or imported via the data import wizard. Uh, so it does apply, as we just went over, if you were to put it in manually as your lead into leads or captured from a web form or imported during the, in the data import wizard. That doesn't apply uh, if you were going to do that with um, like doing some type of data loader. Um, that doesn't mean that these will get picked up. So it does work with data import wizard, but um, that would be an instance where it would uh, not fire. Uh, some points to remember, and we'll go over this. I'll show you how to do it in Lightning, and it's actually pretty similar to how you do it in Classic, so um, there won't be too, too much difference there, but I'll also just kind of run through it with you as well. Um, you can have one lead assignment rule going at one time. If one can be active in your system, you can have multiple running, uh, but you can set up rules so that you can break it down and segment it by the rules. Uh, and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, so order sets the order in which the entry will be processed in the rule, for example, one, two, or three. So uh, you can decide how you would like each um, criteria you set, how you want that to be implemented, and in which order you want that to be implemented or fired. Um, so if you wanted to assign um, to a certain sales rep first, uh, and then the next sales rep, and then the third sales rep, you can decide what order that goes in. Uh, criteria. That is just uh, what rules or conditions are met uh, to assign a rule to a particular salesperson. And the user, uh, the user is uh, who you're going to be assigning that lead to. You could also assign it to, to a queue. If you have queues set up in your system, uh, if you have like a pool of, uh, that, that your sales team goes to and you want to throw it to like your East Coast sales reps and they can decide who gets to it first, uh, you can do that as well if you have that set up. Um, so an example would be, we went over this, but uh, lead submits form on a website, and then the lead is automatically routed to the salesperson handling that lead's region. So you have somebody that signs up, they're based in Massachusetts, you want that to go to your East Coast sales rep, um, so it can automatically shoot that lead, notify uh, your sales rep that, hey, you have a, a lead waiting for you to respond to. So uh, let's take a look, and I'll hop over to Salesforce, and we can take a look in that instance about uh, how to set one of these up. All right, so I'm now logged into Salesforce, and if you look at the screen here, I'm in the setup menu. Uh, to easily get the, to the setup menu, click on the little cog wheel at the top, and click setup. So if you weren't already in there, that's how you would get to it. And from there, I'm going to go to the quick find box, and I will type in assignment. And you can see here that you have several or just three different options. You have topic assignment triggers, case assignment rules, and lead assignment rules. So case assignment rules is very similar uh, to what we're working with. That's for your support cases. Uh, but we're just going to focus on lead assignment rules. We can look into cases another day, but we want to just focus on your leads coming into your system uh, because this, this seems to be a pretty hot topic lately. So looking at this, uh, Salesforce, this is just a standard like sample testing organization or platform that I have, uh, and it actually already has an assignment rule active in your system. You may or may not, um, I had uh, a customer that had some set up uh, already, and then I've seen them where there's nothing, nothing firing. So uh, 
Um, like I mentioned earlier, you can only have one active rule going at a time. And if I click in here and click in the standard rule, you can see that it's segmenting uh, by country or it's assigning by country. So it's both assigning to me right now, uh, and it's an order of one and two. So lead if the country equals U.S. U.S.A. Uh, then it goes to me, and if it's a uh, country not equal to U.S.A., then it would still go to me. But that's only because I'm the only person working in this. Uh, so let's set up a new one here. I click new, and I am going to do one that's. Uh, just do a state um, broken down by equity. I'm going to do region. And I could make this active. Uh, I don't recommend that uh, because if you are in a live instance, uh, well, first of all, I would recommend doing it in the sandbox and testing it out. But um, if you are in a live instance and um, I just don't want to switch it up uh, like this, I kind of want to uh, write it out and have a chance to really kind of toy around with it beforehand. So I'm going to save though. And you can see it's still not active. I still have my standard one active. Uh, but I will click into it now. And from here I can edit it. Uh, or I can add new new rule entries. So this is where I can really segment this down and decide what leads and are going to which sales rep. So I'm going to click new. And from there, um, I have the sort order. That's the order in which the rule entry will be processed. Uh, and from there, let's this will be my first one. And run this rule if criteria are met. So you could also do you could do this, which is what I'll show you today, or you could do a formula evaluates to be true if you wanted to uh, write some um, form formula out for this. Uh, I'm going to just stick with the criteria is met. 99% uh, of the time, you're going to be able to uh, you know sign your leads display. So I'm going to start here, and I have this region. So let's do our region by state. So let's say the lead state equals Mass. And if I wanted to, I could do Massachusetts, kind of like what we saw in the United States. Um, and I could have several different Mass, Massachusetts. And that's always good practice. Um, say you wanted, uh, you just wanted to make sure that no matter what, uh, if you don't have a validation rule on your state field, um, if the salesperson enters in like Massachusetts or Mass, um, M-A-S-S, um, you want to be able to make sure that they're all caught uh, in that. Uh, so for this, I'm just going to leave it like this for right now because I'm just going to do an example and I'll put Mass in. Uh, but then the next one, you want to select the user or queue to assign the lead to. So this is where you're going to select who gets this. So I think in my instance, it's, it's myself and another sales, dummy sales rep that I put in. And I want to sign up any lead that comes in that has a state value of mass to salesperson. So I have that listed. And one thing that you can do is uh, if you have a template form, I don't, I haven't uh, written up a template yet, but you could have, if you have an email template, you can automatically notify the salesperson user uh, with that email and say, hey, um, this lead came in, here's a link to the lead. Just want to let you know this has uh, come through for you. Uh, so it's pretty handy, again, to notify them. Uh, and you could also, if you don't want to reassign, so say you have, you've imported a, a file or um, leads are coming in and they're going to the correct person already, and you want to make sure that they're just not reassigned in any way, you can make them check this box to do not reassign owner. Um, it's all good if it's coming in like this as is. So you could do that. So from there, I'm going to click Save, and that's all set up for me. And then I could break it down if I wanted to put a new rule. Uh, I could break it down too and put, um, you know, any lead that equals that comes in with a state province equals to Rhode Island. Uh, I could uh, have it go to a different sales rep. Um, however, I wanted to break that down. Uh, and then from there, I'll just actually create that now because I want to show you how to reorder it as well. Uh, so let's. To sort order will be two criteria in that, and I want to do state equals. Uh, let's do New York. Right, right out user is going to be self. I think this is only allows me to have two sales uh, or two users in the system, so I'm going to have to just use, use these two. Uh, but this still serves the purpose that I'm looking to do. So I could 
reordered these. So what's going to happen here is uh, the system, when a new lead is put in, it'll first look for this, uh, equals map, and then it'll then look to see if it equals New York. So uh, that's just kind of the progression. And this is example, uh, it's pretty simple, so it doesn't really uh, matter too much to me which order this goes in. Uh, but that is it. And so now I'm just going to click back in an easy way and just click on this. So I still have <coughs> the standard uh, lead assignment rule check. I want to deactivate that. Just click edit here. And I'm going to make that inactive. That, that is inactive. Now I can activate this region. And I may have been able to skip ahead and do that. And it would have switched over, but save some time here. So now my region uh, lead assignment rule is set up. And let's test it out and go over into uh, my sales app here. And again, I'm in Lightning Experience. So I'm going to click on lead. That out of the way, and I want to create a new lead. And from there, I'm going to need a first name. Uh, I'll make this look confusing. I will do test sample and example company. And scroll down. Let's see, do I need anything else? No, but I do want to put. I want to put. Uh, the day of mass. And for this, uh, you'll see this checkbox here at the bottom, assign using active assignment rule. Uh, so that guarantees that it will use the assignment rules that I just put in place so that we can uh, make sure that they're activated. If you didn't want to, say, I just wanted to put this lead in and do with it what I want to do with it and not have it assigned, um, then uh, I could leave that unchecked. Or the same goes for when you import uh, with Data Wizard you have the option to use assignment rules and such like that. So click save here. And that should, if I click on the details, have assigned it to salesperson. So um, it automatically knew that from the rule, assigned it to the salesperson because they're covering maps and um, was e easily sorted out so that I didn't have to go in there and reassign the lead and uh, do anything like that. So. Uh, if I had an email template to put in there, it could have alerted him or her uh, that this lead was input and assigned to him uh, or her and uh, let them know. Uh, so one thing I want to do before I let you go, I just want to switch over just to show you the setup for Classic. Um, let's do this really quickly because, again, it is very similar. Uh, but I still go to the Setup menu. I type in Assignments. Click on the assignment rules, and you can see that this setup is extremely, um, it just looks exactly like what we were just looking at uh, with, the, with the lightning. But you can go in, create a new one, uh, and go through the same process that we went through. Uh, so that's how you make sure that no leads are slipping through any cracks in your database, and make sure that they're getting properly assigned, uh, assigned quickly, and that they're responded to and hopefully turned into an opportunity in the sale. Um, so hopefully reach out to us, uh, let us know at CRMD if there's anything we can help you with and uh, set up some lead assignment rules for you. Thank you.